All right, UFC 154, GSP versus DS, I mean Condit. Anyway, we have a lot of fights to get to, so let's get to them. First fight, Darren Elkins versus Steven Seiler. Darren Elkins wins. Unanimous decision, boring fight. Ivan Menjabar beats this guy named Azamat by nasty armbar in the first round. Matt Riddle versus John McGuire. Matt Riddle wins, unanimous decision. Then this guy named Antonio Varjalo beat this guy named Rodrigo Dam by split decision. Then we have John the Bull McDessey versus Sam the Sparring Partner Stout slash the Sparring Fighter Stout. And uh, John won, unanimous decision. The reason I call Sam Stout a sparring fighter and sparring partner is because, well, basically, just look at his fights, look at this last fight, and look at his previous fights, and honestly, it looks like he's sparring. That's what I was saying all over Twitter. People were agreeing with me. But anyway, you can take a look at his previous fights. It honestly just looks like he's sparring out there. The guy has been in the UFC for four years, and he's still in the prelims. Hey, don't take this wrong. I like the guy. I actually even met him. Got my picture taken with him, but, you know, you got to change things up. Then we have Surreal Diabate versus Chad, who honestly thought he was going to win Griggs. Surreal Diabate wins in the first round by submission. And to me, and of course everybody else, that was a huge mismatch. Ooh, oh, and then we have Patrick Cote versus Alessio Sakara. What? Holy smokes. Uh, the fight was over. I was like, what? Oh, awesome. And then the decision was announced, and I'm like, what? This fight was crazy. Holy crap. It was Patrick Cote landed, and then Alessio Sakara landed with the elbow. But then he started hitting him in the back of the head. He got disqualified. Patrick Cote wins via disqualification of Alessio Sakara. Damn. Now those are rare. Then we got Pablo Garza versus Mark Hominick. That's what I'm talking about. Two guys who are going and battling and are going for the finish. The first two rounds in this fight were insane. You gotta watch this. But Pablo Garza wins via unanimous decision. Then we have Rafael Dos Anjos versus Mark Bocek. If there was the most improved fighter of the night, Rafael Dos Anjos would get it. Who else has dominated Bocek like Rafael did? In the stand-up and on the ground, Rafael wins unanimous decision. Then we have Francis Carmel versus Filthy Tom Lawler. This was actually a snooze fest fight and Francis Carmel won and I actually went to get something to eat because this fight was so boring. I am not kidding about this. I'm eating a gyro. You want a gyro? And then we got Big Rig versus Martin Campman. Oh! Excuse me, sir. Big Rig honk honk. Retweet that. You can follow me at MMA Genius. Go to your Twitter and select follow to me at MMA Genius. I was talking to people on there. People were saying, oh, I think this fight is going to go the distance. I said... This is not a question if, it, if it's going to go the distance. It's a question if it's going to even make it to the second round. 13-14 and 1 now. Johnny Hendricks knocked out Martin Campman in what? 15 seconds? Something like that? I wish I would have filmed my reaction to that fight. I mean... Oh! <laughs> Holy crap. Damn. Honk. Honk. <laughs> I'm eating some pizza. You want a pizza? And a lot of people were messing with Wikipedia, UFC 154. I was tweeting about it. Of course, you would know if you follow me at MMA Genius. But anyway, follow me and you'll get all the MMA news and all this other stuff. But people were typing in such crazy things on there. Like before the even fight of GSP even happened, people were saying that G GSP beat Anderson Silva by leg hump. And somebody wrote this. You know, I don't know who would write that or who wrote that. But you know what I mean? You want a pizza? Anybody know Diesel? You know Diesel from WWE? If you don't, go type in D Diesel WWE and see his entrance in the Royal Rumble. Well, Johnny 
Diesel Big Rig Hendrix. Seriously, for real. Johnny Diesel Hendrix. Hong Kong. Then we got GSP versus Carlos Condit. Man, the natural born killer came to fight. I thought he was going to be just a little bit more aggressive. In the third round, holy, he totally got GSP with a leg kick. GSP was completely stunned. He was almost out. Kind of almost won in the third round. But GSP did what he always does. He just controlled him throughout pretty much the entire fight. He got a decision. GSP won. But he didn't call out Anderson. Listen, either way. Johnny Hendricks, Big Rig, you know, Diesel, Hong Kong, you know? I really think he could definitely be the one to knock out GSP. Definitely. But regardless, if GSP maintains his title and wins and retires, honestly, trust me, you can quote me. I think Hendricks is the future welterweight champ at some point. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, those were all the fights. Great night of fights. And did anybody see Lyoto with his mustache? Listen, Lyoto looked Mexican with that mustache. I tweeted that and then people started retweeting me because it's funny. Lyoto Machida looked Mexican with the mustache. He looks Mexican with the mustache. Anyway, hey everybody, thank you all for watching. Check out all of my other videos. Follow me on Twitter at MMA Genius, of course. Click that subscribe button. Johnny Hendricks, Big Rig, Honk Honk. Diesel Hendrix, and that's it. I'll catch all of you later. Hong Kong.